Hi guys, and welcome to another kit review. Okay, so today, as you can see, we're looking at a kit from Dragon. It's in 135th scale. It is from their 3945 series, and it is their Deutsche Africa Core figure kit. So, this kit came out in 1997. So, it is literally just the four figures that you see. All right, plus a small dog, a couple of jerry cans, and... You do get these water bottles, which are quite unique. I've never seen them in another kit. And a little camping stove, you might call it. Okay, so that in itself is a good little accessory. All right, so as you can see by the box art, this is what the figures are doing. You've got two guys sharing a jerry can full of water. One guy is sitting on one, and this guy here is teasing the dog. Okay. Um, just in case you didn't know, jerry cans that were used exclusively for water were painted with a white cross to indicate that's is water only, not fuel. Okay, so that's the front of the box. On the side, advertising for another couple of uh, dragon kits, Panzer Yagas on the eastern front, and fuel police. This kit, which I picked up chief off the net, has unusually a Hasegawa Hobby Kits sticker on the side. Don't know why, could not tell you. Perhaps someone out there knows, but that's uh, very, very interesting, even though it is definitely a Dragon Kit. Okay, on the other side, just a repeat of the name. Usual, contains parts for four figures, paint and glue not included, in six different languages. And on the back, you've got your assembly and painting instructions, okay? As you can see, one guy standing, one guy sitting. Okay, these guys are sharing water. These are your water bottles, jerry can, okay, and your stove. All right. So, you do get decals in this kit. They are for the jerry can and the stove and the water bottles, not for the insignia or anything on the figures themselves. And down the bottom, this just gives you literally an illustration of what this kit is M40 tropical shorts, tropical tunic, cooking stove, 18 litre container, 10 litre container, and your usual tropical pattern uh, water flask okay so that's the box that's the front let's have a look and see what we actually got inside nothing else decal sheet separate okay also separate is the camping stove and the water bottles so I'm gonna assume that they came from another kit somewhere in the next bag, you've got your figures, plus a couple of jerry cans thrown in as a bonus. All right, so that's the sprues. Let's have a look at the decals first, and I don't know if you can see them. They are all white. You do get the white crosses for the water cans, and also the labels for the stove and markings for the jerry cans. There are no markings, as I said, for the actual insignia on the figures and I'll give you a shot of that anyway okay so let's cut these up and see what we got that one's out And there we go. All right, so jerry cans. We've all seen jerry cans. We know what they are. They all look the same. Okay, so we won't concentrate on those. Put the figures aside. Let's have a look at the accessories. Okay, so here is your larger water bottles. Okay, 
So they're a nice little accessory in themselves. And you can add those onto almost anything. Sorry guys, that went out of focus. This is your stove. Okay. So, as I said, this kit did come out in 70... Sorry, not 70, 97. So a little bit of flash on it. Um, that would be a challenge getting those handles off without breaking them. Okay, so it's interesting that it was marked the Hasegawa model. Maybe it was originally. I don't know. It's very interesting. Anyway, that's your spare water bottles and your camping stove. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual figures. So, as you can see, this is the dog. Two halves. Alright, this is one of your sitting guys. Standing. That's the other one. And the other standing guy. Alright. You do get um, pith helmets. And caps. So you could change those around a little bit. Not quite sure what that is, but we'll have a close look at it. Okay, so from here, it looks not too bad. That is actually, surprisingly enough, that's a lizard. Okay. Um, that will definitely be a challenge getting that off without destroying it. So let's have a look. The uniform detail, all right, it's okay. It's a little soft, especially around the pockets. It is a 97 kit, but I know Dragon can do a lot better. As you can see around even the, where the shorts meet the leg, okay? That's a very soft line. There's no clear delineation. So you might want to clean that up a little bit and sharpen it. There's a bit of flash around some of the hands, as you can see. Let's have a look at the faces. All right. So the faces look, sorry, that went out of focus. Try that. The faces are very soft and pudgy. All right. These are well-fed Germans because they have got very pudgy faces. But the details, let's see if I can get this closer and sharper. All right. Very soft details on the faces. Very, very soft. Okay. So you could go with these or replace them with something a little bit sharper, like a resin head or something. But as you can see, there's a uniform. It's not too bad. But just some of the details on the on the pockets, especially, is a little bit. I would probably run a a blade along those carefully, given a little bit more uh, delineation, just so it stood out when you gave it a wash. But overall, they're not too bad, I guess for a what 20, 24 year old kit. It's okay, all right? So as I said, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. All of the figures are the same. All of the faces are the same. I'll give you a close-up to that so you can have a really good look. But that literally is it. That is Dragon's Africa Core 
bigger kit. As I said, came out in 97, cost me next to nothing. Okay, thought it might be a nice little accessory for a, a couple of Africa Corps vehicles I've got going, so there you have it. Okay, so brings us to the end of this review. Um, I hope you've got something from it. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. And until next time, take it easy, and I'll see you later.